Hey guys, Tyrant up here bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing today's spawning on the left, we have 15 Sway playing as Night Elf. Going for the, the Keep of the Grove first. A bit of an Acolyte Harass here from Infi, who's playing as Undead with the Death Knight first. That is Echo Isles version 2.2. Just a uh, ladder match this one. So a decent bit of harass there from the Acolyte, able to steal away the Forest Troll Shadow Piece, can be pretty handy for dispelling the Treants. Hasn't really made use of it too much so far, in the meantime the Death Knight getting a bit of an army together, looks like he's going to go for a fast expansion, Solar's Town Portal. He's got the Acolyte down here, he's killed Critter on the way through so he's got some Skellies, there goes the Acolyte, the harassing one. Go the keeper with the level up coming in. Gonna look for some harass himself, perhaps. Got a lot of damage focused onto the death knight and creeping this out. Has got a ring plus three now. Keeper gonna find the forest troll. Not gonna spend anything on it though. What can of course be dispelled. And Ziggurat's gonna complete. Looks like he's gonna go. Uh, Get this tower up nice and smooth. And uh, I've got a counter expansion from 15 Sway back the other direction. So like the Death Knight headed over to the shop, picks up a tally staff. It's not started upgrading this with Cold a Tower, trying to get the expansion uh, Haunted Goldmine going a bit faster instead. A little bit greedy. They're staffing back. Now no expansion, but didn't check up in this position, so... Maybe uh, Infi might have missed it there. Infi has picked up the Forest Troll Berserker. Looks like he's poised to try and creep this before he can walk the tree across. Get some uh, experience going in this phase. The player's forces are under attack. Third of the way now. To tier two. Couple scallies sent out to do some scouting. Starting to populate the mine with acolytes now. I'm going to continue creeping. Got to see the Keeper coming across, who's got the boots now, he's pretty fast. And Skelly going to go check, doesn't see an expansion. Are under Denies the Skelly to the uh, creeps. The period of vitality is not really that important for the Death Knight. And well, 15 Sway taking the camp in the center gets a wand plus an illusion, eh? Okay, the tree is up and moving now. Infi with a much larger army. A player's forces are under Some attack. hero levels. Come the rest of the ghouls. Needs one more acolyte, right? Stop pumping them though. He's starting his tick now. He doesn't have another necropolis down here to build acolytes from. Is he gonna just have that with three men on the mine? Very strange choice from Enfield. forces are under attack. Here he comes, looking to shut down this expansion. Death Knight already quite low, but look at that surround on the panda straight away. Force of Nature trying to break him free. Ghoul's keeping a good job, staying closed. And there he goes, Coil just to finish the job. Now getting on top of their ranged units. Coil to keep the ghouls healthy, the forest troll boys. About to fall though for Enfi.
And quite a few trains in the mix now. It's starting to turn the ties against Infi, who's uh, brought in another forest troll for a lot of dispels, actually. That keeps him in the hunt. About to be daytime, so that hide's not going to last for too much longer. Is he going to pick up an ogre more or something? What's he up to over here? He's got the necropolis building now. Yeah, he's got the mauler. Want the entangling mine just about there. So 15 sway closing the gap in terms of gold. A the graveyard coming up out the back now for him feet. There we go, that's the level up. One ghoul down. It's level two aura. Well, he's got to be very, very careful. Oh, he leaves the Frost Troll Berserker behind. Ooh, that's a little bit clumsy. He's got a couple Dryads in the mix now. They're going to be a real pain to deal with. Poor Infi. Does have a little bit of range damage, though. Dryads so fast, though, getting away there. Kelly's trying to deny themselves to the creeps. And this is what we're in for. Both players got the expansions running. A player's forces are under attack. Enfy's picked up the Tinker Second. This is a very rare sight. Heal scroll and scroll protection. Looks like he wants to knock this thing down. He's gonna come in and try to close the show here. the slow. Heal scroll to keep Muddy alive. Oh, he had a good run. <laughs> what did he? Tinker has not put down a pocket factory yet. There it goes. I'll throw Berserk in some trouble out the back for both players. They both go down. We've got some beers in the mix now. Just in a depth form. Don't have Master yet. So they're not super scary. Gonna go for the ancient war kill. Goblins doing pretty well. Trying to knock down the pocket factory. He's about to time out by the time he kills it though. Oh look at that, another surround on the panda. Does have the staff for it. And he ends up breaking the surround because of the rejuvenation, he can't out damage it. The drunken haze. Combined with the rejuve, too much uh, healing. So this has not gone very well for Enfi. It was a decent idea, but it's a bit too much. Trying to be able to uh, get the job done. And he's left the Tinker behind over here. Death Knight really trying to kill Players this dryad. Are under attack. And there we go, master form on the bear. No wisps back here to kill either with the uh, Death Knight. Tinker picking up the consumables. Still just the uh, one shop on this map, so it's very important. Even though he could buy the heal scrolls from his own shop. Buying them from the center one. The slaughterhouse about to be complete and uh, transitioning the now into some fiends. Is Infi? And uh, there we go, a lot of upgrades coming through for 15 Sway, who has actually broken into upkeep. Only just, he's very low on lumber now, he needs to pump out a few more wisps. More experience in the panda at level 3 now, he's. he's Leveling up very nicely. Can't say the same about the Tinker who's coming in to do some the harass. Forces are under attack. On the shop. This pocket factory. Death Knight also takes a bit of damage. The Keeper's got the Orb of Venom now. Interesting that he didn't uproot the shop. 
down it goes. Blocking from his own clockworks there. Oh, the Death Knight so fast. He'll run out with that level 2 aura. Well, uh, you know, Panda continuing to creep. Probably going to hit level 4 off this camp. Going pretty well for 15 sweet. Oof, 7 XP off, eh? Alright. Nice detonate. Look at those reaction times from 15 sway. He's on top of this game today. Here's the Lich now, though. Stealing some experience now from Infi's side of the map. 15 sways, not giving him any breathing room. Death Knight has the orb now. A player's forces are under there we go. Transfers it over to the Lich. Okay, they're ready to go. Oh, that's been crept out. So there's really only that corner camp now. Is he going to go for it? We've got a skelly doing some scouting. Finds the night elf army. Okay, he's getting some abominations going with the disease cloud. Good idea. Pretty close on food counts, but you can see 15 sway has way more gold. After all this. No upgrades on the destroyers. 1-1 one, one, though on the ghouls and uh, A-bombs. So maybe he's planning a uh, more comprehensive switch into the abominations. He's got, actually got double slaughterhouses and he's getting some wagons going as well. It's not that many drives that I think the meat wagons are going to be super effective. But these clouds are very strong. Spreading that around counts for a lot. Got the ghouls leading the charge. Stopping by the shop again. He's got a sobering mask. Very nice item for the Death Knight. Picks up a heal scroll. One, two heal scrolls, one in vault. No mana potions. Pretty well stocked on mana. Still has the double statues as well. Here we go. Two one upgrades. Forces are under attack. And uh, more the upgrades coming in out the back as well. Alright, got interrupted there. I wasn't expecting that phone call for another hour or two. But back into the action. Both armies poised for a big old fight. A-bombs out the front. Oh, we got some mountain giants in the mix. Comes the meat wagon. Nice little position here for Infi. Being safe out the back, the ghoul, so taking a lot of damage. Meat wagon blasting away at the dryads on the back line. A lot of damage though from this panda, those breaths of fire doing major damage. There's the heal scroll. For Infi at the moment. So there's another heal scroll up his sleeve. A more or two falling. Pops a second heal scroll. Surrounding the mountain giant now. Taking a lot of damage. And the rest of the Night Elf army getting out of there. Still both players at 80 food after all of this fighting. And they're going to disengage there. Of course, that disease cloud is going to keep ticking away at the health of 15 Sway. But overall, pretty even fight, and considering if he came in there with two heal scrolls, probably would have hoped for a slightly a better result than that, but attack. both players did a very good job keeping everything alive. And uh, looks like some more upgrades coming through. He's stocked up. He's got three heal scrolls this time, and the invul still. 
doesn't have full health uh full mana rather on all these heroes and only has the one statue so it could be a bit of an issue okay, quick kill on the moon well and uh this way did push into high upkeep briefly so now he's going to be supply stuck under attack big army both ways Are falling. No, the heal scroll keeping them healthy. Meat wagon out the back. Slamming those dryads. He's doing really well. In control, but here come a bunch more mounted giants. Three more mounted giants joining in the fight. They're just surviving out the back. Dryads are very low. And also a little bit low. A couple destroyers up in the air. They're doing alright. And these bears in check. Oh, he runs back in with that super low health bear. Still somehow surviving. Is the mountain giant wall going to make this happen? There goes one mountain giant there. Huge experience. Literally was up off that, but there goes an A-bomb. Level 5 on the keeper now as well. Destroyers don't really have too much else to hit. Oof. Dodges that destroyer. A player's forces are under attack. Under siege. Okay. If we're going to back out a little bit, they're both still at 80 food, by the way. <laughs> Craziness. How is that even possible? Takes out a mountain giant. A couple destroyers up in the air looking to harass these bears. He's got a good number of bears out the back. A town is under siege. Okay, he's flying around with these destros. Needs to rejoin the rest of the army. It looks like they're both going to uh, muck around for a bit. Forces are under attack. All right, kicking off the fight. Wagon out the back, pressuring the base a little bit. He's actually got Nature's Blessing coming in. Absorbing those treants with the Destros. A lot of mana on two destroyers. Could be nasty against these bears. Looks like they were largely targeting the uh, mountain giants at the start. They've really got big Nova on the bears. Rides out the back, doing some pretty good chip damage to the destroyers. It's all over the show. Destroyers though, getting picked off. Oh, close call on the Lich, still alive. A lot of bears down the fall though. And you got a couple more Dryads and a couple more Destroyers. Oof. Oh, Panda has the overstayed as welcome. Lost another statue into a Destroyer. The low health dryads coming back in. 15 sway has a lot of low health dryads. Abominations, two of them, one goes down. Oh, he's got a lot of moon miles here, and they're upgraded with the extra mana, so they provided a lot of healing. Oh, the keeper! What was that? Was he in the single digits for health? That's craziness. Keeper, okay. They're getting out of there. Oh, that was so close. <gasps> oh, those moon wells. Just enough to keep that keeper alive, but seemed like maybe if he turned the corner there a little bit. Let's compare gold. Okay, 500 more for 15 sway checks. No expansion up in the north. That first uh, meat wagon went down pretty fast in that last fight, but now he's got two of them. Rebuilding the statues. Death Knight himself, very low in health. Buys an extra mana potion. Whoa, wow. That ghoul is cutting wood from such a long distance. Alright, we'll go back on to 4x speed while they're both licking their wounds and recovering from that crazy battle. Okay. 
Okay, the Knight of Heroes are coming across here. With a couple treants. He's got a tower up here as well. Might regret this. The destroyers are there. The rest of the army's there. Keep it trying to make tracks. If he got hit by a Nova, he might be in some trouble, but he's fast enough to evade. Did he change through the boots? To the panda, he did, okay. Both players banking at 80 at the moment. 15 sway though with more gold in reserve. And they're about to cross over on the opposite sides of the map. Mountain Giant's equipped with the war clubs. They got some big siege damage. He opened up this area maybe to make a, an siege. attack onto the haunted gold mine. Attack. That'll be interesting. We do of course have those meat wagons. They have big siege damage. And here they come. He's going for the expo. The war clubs are going to be huge here. That, that gold mine is dead for sure, but so is this one. He's continuing upwards, so I thought maybe killing a bunch of these Moomos off would be very valuable. They got a lot of juice left in them. It's a lot of regen potential. 415 sway, and you know, he's quite mobile. He's got those tally staffs, so he's probably going to try and make use of them at some stage. He's going for the production buildings, and actually uh, a couple of these lures do have mountain giants in progress. Might be able to shut down one of them from coming out. What is he doing? Do you want them to come out? Meanwhile, the Tree of Eternity has walked its way across to here, so he's going to start mining again shortly. I'm not sure about this base race scenario for, for uh, Enfy. Looks like he's more limited in his options. It looks like he's probably going to try to defend his main base. He does have those meat wagons. They're big siege damage, but so are the war clubs. On the mountain giants. Huge variance though. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, big fight. Looks like a bad start to it for Enfi, but he's got those oh, he's got a Mountain Giant out the back, bashing away at the meat wagon. Storm with and fire on the panda. Lich is in some trouble, has to back off. And there we go, Keeper pops his ultimate as well. Ends up being an ugly fight for Enfi. And a uh, slight army lead now for 15 sway. But here we go, ultimates running out. Couple seconds left on the panda. And the meat wagon positioning is nasty. Those rides up the back being hammered. But there goes one meat wagon. The breath of fire is still very powerful. The destroyer unable to save itself above the trees. The panda's actually in a bit of trouble here. Low and the coil takes him out. Was he trying to save that for a last second staff? Risky from 15 sway loses the panda. Rides are getting very low, the meat wagon's still out the back with two A-bombs. Also very, very low, the Death Knight, he's still got the uh, mana potion left as well. Keeper pops his ultimate again though. Huge healing value here. And he's mining. So the clock is on, Infi has to make this push work, otherwise he's going to lose the game. He's coming back in, the Tinker out of position though, gets battered. By the mountain giants. Gonna fall almost immediately as the fight starts. And uh, I don't know. I don't think Infi's got enough damage to chunk through these mountain giants. These Avons are 2 3 upgraded though. Maybe they'll be strong enough. Not to say at this stage. Kinda bad for Infi though. Bring in the rest of the Acolytes. He's got to try and get this done. Oh, the Coil follows the Mountain Giant with the staff. And a few of these Mountain Giants about to fall, actually. 
But there's the Keeper's Ultimate again. Trying to heal through the damage. The dragon's starting to bash away at the Tree of Eternity. There goes another Abomination. Level up on the Keeper. Keeper getting surrounded. Going to tell his stuff out. Down to those uh, Moonwells that I was talking about earlier. Should have killed them. I don't know, it just doesn't look that good for Infi. He's only got one abomination left, his meat wagon has fallen. Keeper's coming back in here, fully stocked. And ready to close the show. To eternity though, he's getting quite low, might need to bring the wisps in to repair this up. He's, he's late bringing them in. The tree of eternity's about to go down. Oh my. Tree of Eternity, here it goes. It's dead. But uh, Infi knew that his goose was cooked, his army too weak at this stage. Last abomination about to fall, he decides to quit. Alright, well, uh, there you go. Some uh, crazy high pop cap fights, you know, between 80 and 100 food both sides. Sustained fighting. But eventually 15 Sway comes out on top with the mass mountain giants. Even those like f close to fully upgraded A-bombs couldn't get the damage done. GG. Have to wonder about that Tinker as well. Like if he kept that alive for a bit longer, got one more pocket factory out, maybe that would have made the difference. I don't know. Either way, uh, well played by both players. A very entertaining match. Well, anyway, guys, I'll wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft 3 action. Until next time, goodbye. Thank luck.